All right. This new tent looks sweet. Yeah, I can't wait to camp out in it tonight. Pikachu! Here, you read the instructions. I'll get the parts out of the box. Deal. Okay, so the first step says put the center red pole at a 90 angle. Um, 90 angle? Are you sure that's what it says? It sounds kind of weird. At a 90 angle? Uh, wait. Maybe it says 900. Hmm. But that other O is smaller. Maybe it's just an ink blot? Let me see that. Oh, you're right. A 90 degree angle. Okay, cool. What does that mean? B. I'm not exactly sure. What's step number two? Attach the first blue pole at a 45 degree angle to the red pole. And then what else? Attach the other three poles at a 45, or it could be 450 angle. You gotta be kidding! That's all it says! Oh, brother! How are we gonna put this tent up? I think we're gonna need some help with this. Let's use the Poke Pilot to ask Ada. She knows her way around numbers. Good idea. Hi, Ada. Hey, guys. What's up? We're camping and are trying to set up a tent. Sounds fun. Yeah, but we're having some trouble with the instructions. It's like angle this and angle that with all these measurements. I mean, I know what angles are, but I'm not sure what to do with these specific degrees. Yeah, how can you tell what the number means? Gotcha. Sounds like we can tackle this problem by defining different types of angles. Let me tell you, once you start looking for angles, you'll see them everywhere. Like in a room. They're in corners, at the ceiling, and on the roof. You'll definitely need some angles if you're going to pitch a tent. Yeah, that must be what's all over the place on these instructions. You're right. Angles are measured in degrees. That's what that little O symbol after the number means. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. We group angles by type according to their different measures. First, we have this one. The open door is making an angle. It's called an acute angle, and it measures between 0 and 90 degrees. Now look at this corner. It's a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Did you know right angles are the most common angles? Oh, yeah, like the corners of a box. Or the seat and back of a chair. Exactly. Now, let's shed some more light on this subject. Let's look at this window. When it's open, it forms an obtuse angle, which measures between 90 and 180 degrees. If you open the window as far as it will go, it forms a straight angle. Straight angles are straight lines and measure 180 degrees. All right, I think I've got what you're saying. Acute, right, obtuse, and straight all refer to angles of different measures. Right. I just need to remember which is which. That's the trick. Practicing with angles helps a lot. But wait, what's that half circle thing you're using? It's called a protractor, and it is used to measure an angle. Like, look at this angle. What is its measure? Well, it's pointing to 60 degrees. Right, it's 60 degrees. So what kind of angle is it? 60 is between 0 and 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle? You got it. And you can always get the angle. Just place a protractor over the angle to find the measure. Awesome! A right angle measures 90 degrees, so it would look like this. Sure, that makes sense. The angle measures exactly at the 90 degree point. So what would an obtuse angle look like? You're asking me? Yep. Well, okay. An obtuse angle would start out just like the other two angles, but it would measure between 90 and 180 degrees. Yeah, like this. Pika! Now you can see how the protractor helps. You can use it to measure angles and to draw angles. To use a protractor, place the arrow on the corner, the vertex, of the angle you want to measure and read off the measurement on the scale in degrees. This angle measures... 100 degrees! Right! Now to draw with a protractor. First, you draw the bottom line of the angle and place the arrow in the protractor where the vertex of the angle will be. Okay. Then find the degree for your angle on the scale. Let's use 60 degrees. That works. Make a mark at 60 degrees. Then draw a straight line between the vertex and that mark. 
Hey, that's pretty cool. You got it. You just have to make sure you get the right measure for each type of angle. Acute between 0 and 90 degrees. Right at 90 degrees. Obtuse between 90 and 180 degrees. And straight is 180 degrees. Right. So why don't you check out some of the angles you see around you in the woods for practice? Like that big tree with all those branches. There's got to be at least a hundred angles on that tree alone. Cool! Let's practice! Pikachu! Alright! I'm going to measure the angles of these branches, but I'm going to need some help. Are you in too? Great! Let's check these angles out. Okay, look at this first branch. I think the first angle is an acute angle. What is the measure on an acute angle? Right. An acute angle measures between 0 and 90 degrees. Now, how would we draw an acute angle? Right. An acute angle measures between 0 and 90 degrees. Let's look at another branch. I think this one may be a right angle. What is the measure for a right angle? Right. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Hey, could you draw a right angle? Right. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Okay, look at this branch. I think it might be obtuse, but what is the measure for an obtuse angle? Right. An obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees. Can you draw an obtuse angle for me? Right. An obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees. This branch goes straight across to the other branch. They're at the same level. How cool! What is the measure for a straight angle? Right. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. Can you draw me a straight angle? Right. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. That's a straight line. Hey, thanks for helping me practice. Chew, Pikachu! It's starting to get dark, and I think we're ready to set up the tent now. Yeah, let's do it. Well, here's a drawing of what it's supposed to look like. Help me find the angles in it. For each correct angle you find, I'll get to put together another part of the tent. Find a straight angle. You got it. Find an acute angle. All right! Find an obtuse angle. Awesome! Find a right angle. You got it. Find another obtuse angle. All right! Find another right angle. Way to go. Find another straight angle. You got it. Find another acute angle. All right. Find another right angle. Awesome. Yeah, we did it. The tent is up and ready to go. To sleep in. Hey, Ash, Pikachu. Since we learned about angles, everywhere I look, I see angles. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. Like Pikachu, look at your tail. Pika? Let me get a closer look. Well, it looks like you're pretty much in a straight angle now, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> An acute angle measures between here and here on the protractor. Try again. An acute angle measures less than a right angle. A right angle measures right here on the protractor. Try again. An acute angle measures between 0 and 90 degrees. A right angle measures right here on the protractor. Try again. It's an L shape.
A right angle measures right here on the protractor. Try again. It's an L shape. An obtuse angle measures between here and here on the protractor. Try again. An obtuse angle is greater than a right angle. An obtuse angle measures between here and here on the protractor. Try again. An obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees. A straight angle measures right here on the protractor. It forms a straight line. Try again. It's a straight line. A straight angle measures right here on the protractor. It forms a straight line. Try again. It's 180 degrees. Try again. Now, how would we draw an acute angle? Right. Bruh. An acute angle measures between 